I'm in beautiful Western North Carolina at Brass Town at John C. Campbell Folk School. This is the painting studio. I'm going to show you now some of the artwork that my classmates and I did during our weekend class. In this class, Jennifer Reese taught us stitching techniques and transferring images to your collage and stitching around the images and beadwork, so many things that we learned. This is one of the collages that I did. It has cloth, um, papers that are stitched, and you can see I'm stitching, showing you where the stitching was on this one. And then we added the bead work on it also. Make sure you get it clear. It'll, it'll come back. I have but this piece that I'm going to stitch so down. Be, uh, but before I stitch this found object, I'm going to add a few more of these in this area first because it would be hard to do the beads after you put this on. Before I stitch on the found object that I had where I grew gourds in my backyard, I'm using Prismacolor to draw some lines to guide your eyes through the collage. This is the finished piece. For the second piece, I started with dressmakers pattern papers, transfers, jelly printed paintings, and rust papers. Also pink and blue washi tape. I used the Prisma colors to draw in my mom's nursing hat, added some beads, and added an old photograph of my mom in her nursing uniform. And now it is a finished piece. Now I want to show you some of Jennifer's pieces. This is a sampler of some of the stitches that she teaches. This is Jennifer's information. So, You're just stitching around yours now? I am. Yeah, it looks good. I'm I mean, going to turn it in right there, too. Well, yeah. and I'm going to 
I'm, go I'm nowhere near finished. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I have something on each one of the paisleys here. Oh, yes. So, and then I'll finish this around here. And this is real, really coffee stained. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still We're still working. I've got lots of good keys on that one. And this is the one that you're doing for your... For a baby. Baby. Yeah. Right. Well, you've added to the blue heron. Some yep. critters and Now stuff I'm waiting for it to dry so I can put things back on. <laughs> Look at it and then... Okay, now yeah. tell me... Well, I think I'm going to add some little um, beads on the whiskers. Or I'm going to make the eye pink. Oh, with yeah. beads. I don't know yet which. Work. Wait just a minute. Now, this one I reworked about three times. It definitely needs something. I don't know yet what still. Uh, this is Gorgeous. the most finished one. Uh, this one's nowhere near finished, but this is a picture of our grandmother. Oh. My love and Trisha's love for gardening, I think. I uh, took off from her, so. I, my passion is gardening, so I'm really interested in your dyeing class over there. Uh, my goal is to have everything in my yard native North Carolina plants, but anyway. So all of this was absolutely brand new to me, so I focused on the techniques that she was trying to teach us, so I feel good about it. I learned a lot, and my fingers are so sore. <laughs> you did a lot of beauty. Yeah, my fingers are, yeah. I thought I'd have a hundred puncture holes, but anyway, I learned so much from all of you guys, and I really appreciate it. So I, this is something, I'm, I've tried a lot of crafts and failed. <laughs> I think this is something, though, that I can take home and really remember how to do it and build yes. on it. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. Because there's, there's so many different things. Oh, I know. I know. And I s totally, like the rest of you, have a great, I have a great appreciation for scarfing up little things you see in mm -hmm. yeah. antique stores that I would never have thought about getting before. What did you say the boat part is that you stitched on there? It's just a piece, uh, we took a trip out to California camping and it's a piece of driftwood off the Trinity River in California. And there you go. I have a whole box of them. I was like, what am I ever going to do with these? So that's my boat. That's good. That, I guess that does have meaning. I take it back. One of my pieces has <laughs> meaning. Saying goodbye to the John C. Campbell folk school and I'm showing you some of the blacksmith work on the doors.